audiobooks are wonderful things. With an audiobook, you can take long car trips, don't seem nearly as long. You can listen to an audiobook while you wash dishes, fold clothes. Uh, any repetitive task can be enhanced with the addition of a good audiobook. This 10 minute tech tip is about importing CD audiobooks onto an iPod. To do this, we have to use iTunes. There are a number of steps in doing this, and the first few times may be a little frustrating. Once you have done this a few times, it becomes much, much easier. And while it takes some time to transfer an entire book into iTunes, um, you'll find that the time is well spent. So let's get started on how you would go through this process. If you're new to iTunes, uh, you may not have the smart playlist uh, titled Recently Added. Um, this is a convenience for you, but it, I, re I recommend it. So if you don't have it, the way you uh, create it is by going to File, selecting New, and then select Smart Playlist. This dialog box will come up, um, and then in this bar here, type in Recently Added, and then click on OK. I'm not going to click on OK because I already have it, so I will just close that. Now we can start importing our disks. Putting a disk in the CD uh, drawer of your computer, uh, this will uh, pop up. iTunes automatically looks for uh, the metadata, which is the title and the artist and sometimes the uh, reader of the book. Um, I would suggest that what we do is we uh, uh, click on No at this point. Uh, we do this because we want to combine these tracks. Now I've already combined these tracks, so but the way to do that would be to click on uh, track number one, holding your shift key down, click on the last track, and that will select all of them. Then come up here to the gear in the upper right, and click on that and at the bottom you know it says unjoin but I've already done this so um, if I hadn't done it it would say join CD tracks and then you click on that and then this black line shows up showing you that these tracks are all connected uh, after you've done that uh, you go up to CD info make sure that the CD info is uh, all this the same for all of your disks um, that will put everything into the same file the other thing you'll have to do is you're going to have to put in the disk number now in this case it's a disk number one of 18 disks um, after this information is all put in um, come down here to OK and click on it then the last step would be to click on import CD in the upper right here again and then you click on that, it'll, this window will open and just select OK. Um, iTunes will then start importing the disk and you can tell that by the little circle that's spinning here and you can also see the progress in this blue bar up at the top. We've downloaded our desk, last disk and when we take it out of the CD player and go to recently added here we have blue remembered earth but now I have two of them uh, I have two of them because evidently one of them are, wasn't labeled correctly so if I click on the first one I see I have discs one through seven and I'm missing six so I'm guessing that this one is disc six and yes indeed it is and it doesn't recognize it as the same file because I spelt Alistair wrong so to fix this we right click on this 
the icon we want to change go to song info that brings up our brings up our uh, metadata and now we're going to put in the right first name and click OK now you can see that our extraneous uh, blue remembered earth is gone now if I click on my single instance of blue remembered earth and I pull up the disks that we have you can see now that it is correctly put disk 6 right where it, sh it should be between uh, 5 and 7 uh, at this point we have one last step that we have to do now these are audiobooks you can tell by the open uh, the open book and this is a, considered a, a, a music uh, and we want to change it to audiobook so by right clicking on it we can go to get info just like we normally would uh, for the looking at the meta detail and if I click on options it gives me the uh, option of changing from music to audiobook and now we come down here click on OK and now Blue Remembered Earth is uh, considered an audiobook all that it's left to do now is to move the audiobook that uh, we want to put onto our iPod and uh, this is very simple now because you have a single file with all of the disks on it um, you left click the book that you want and you drag it over to uh, your iPod now this will show up after you've plugged your iPod in and the little iPod will show up here at the top um, you can see here that it is now copying discs 1 through 7 of Blue Remembered Earth to my iPod once that's finished uh, you can eject your iPod um, and you can then plug in your headphones or your earbuds and start listening to your book. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please contact us at the library and uh, we can try to walk, th walk you through any problems you might have. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.